Assalamu alaikum viewers hope for best of your health and iman today's topic is nose talk today we are going to discuss what are the nose talk you know cyanobacteria is the most important species of the genus of the cyanobacteria uh, nose talk in which we're going to see how it's uh, you know it's it's taxonomic position its characteristics its cell structure its reproduction reserve food so many things all about its morphology its reproduction so we're going to see what are its uh, characteristics because it's very important and uh, you know it's a unique specific genus of the uh, cyanobacteria there. So let's have a look first of all the taxonomic position of the nostoc. Taxonomic position of the nostoc as we know the kingdom is the bacteria. You see the kingdom is bacteria, phylum cyanobacteria and then comes the uh, you know a class which is cyanophyce order nostocales and family nostocaceae and genus nostoc so in genus nostoc there are many species of the nostoc which comes through the first point which we're going to discuss is the occurrence of the nostoc where they uh, they are present mostly in the fresh water large colonies are present in the fresh water you know uh, they are present in a uh, uh, you know uh, small places and uh, 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 you know they are uh, they are present in the fresh water uh, ponds streams uh, you know in the form of the some uh, small colonies they, uh, they are present in the form of the small colonies or the circular balls so they look like a uh, uh, circular balls so though they may be attached or they may be uh, you know uh, just floating over the fresh water so if they are attached they may be present on the soil rock uh, maybe fresh or the salt water uh, or the hot Horse, uh, hot springs as they may be salty water or the uh, fresh water but they can never find in the marine environment so in tissues if we say that uh, of the hornworts they may be present in some plants you know uh, uh, in attachment of the some plants like the tissues of the hornworts because they help for the nitrogen fixation to the hornworts and they are also the components of the algal components of the lichen so in this way they are the occurrence in the uh, you know fresh pond water, fresh water pond streams lakes horse springs river uh, no marine water just in the salt water maybe springs in the present salt water or the fresh water and maybe attached to the tissues of the some hornworts for the nitrogen fixation and the algal components of the lichens and the next is the uh, cell structure what is the cell structure of the uh, uh, you know nostoc the cell structure of the nostoc is just like that many trichomes they are twisted around each other and they twisted and aggregate in the form that they form the circular balls of the colonies so in this way they form small colonies and they are uh, you know greenish to the uh, bluish green in color uh, so they have the greenish to the bluish green in color because of their pigments and they have the tough pellicle like surrounding wall or the sheath which cover or uh, you know surround all the uh, full colony and for provide the protection and the shape to the colony uh, the next is the cell wall. What is the cell wall composition? The cell wall composition of the, uh, you know, is the uh, cell uh, cellulose, and it is like a uh, protoplasm. You know, protoplasm is that uh, cell which is without the cell wall. So this, uh, uh, the protoplasm is covered by the surrounded by the wall, which is the composed of cellulose. So it is the composition of the cell wall. Uh, the pigments which are present in the uh, uh, you know uh, cyanobacteria we see the pigments but plastids are not present they do not have plastids or the chloroplast or like these structures for the pigment presence they do not have these structures just the uh, uh, you know these pigments are present in the cytoplasm and this is known as chromatoplasm you know because of the presence of the color or the pigment they are known as chromatoplasm in the cytoplasm because it is present in the cytoplasm so the color uh, pigment depend upon the you know pigments like blue for the phycocyanin and it may have the carotenoid uh, uh, you know uh, chlorophyll uh, and phycoerythrin so these are the pigments which are present in the uh, uh, no stock. Uh, the next is the uh, nucleoplasm. Nucleoplasm because it does not have a, a exact you know a, a modern eukaryotic nucleus. It do not it does not have the nucleus like this. It is just have a genetic material in this as a you know aggregate as a central body in the cytoplasm. So, uh, cytoplasm. So it is uh, uh, you know known as a uh, nucleoid material or uh, you know is a, 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 a nuclear material so genetic material is just present in this central body form so no uh, you know no nucleolus because it is not a nucleus so it do not have any nucleolus uh, then is 
we are going to see uh, its reserve food material how it is this uh, result uh, reserve food material present in the uh, you know uh, in non stock it is in the form of the sugars or the glycogens and if it is in the form uh, it if it is you know proteinaceous compound which is present in the cytoplasm uh, which is present as a reserve food material it is a uh, cyanophycin so pro it has proteinaceous compound which is cyanophycin most important and the other reserve food is in the form of the sugars and glycogens the next point which is most important in the case of every uh, you know genus species whatever we living organism we discuss we have to discuss this point which is the reproduction how do they reproduce so cyanobacteria or the non stock you know they do not have any sexual reproduction type of sexual reproduction so they just uh, do reproduce by asexual reproduction yeah, you know spore formation so these are vegetative reproduction so in this way they just reproduce and it have five main uh, you know uh, you can see the methods which it use for mostly for its reproduction the first one is the hormogonia hormogonia as we have discussed already so these are the dead type of the reproduction in which just the filaments have its own cells but some one of the vegetative cell gets enlarged uh, reserve material store its reserve material and uh, you know uh, the vegetative cell gets get separated from the cell the filament is broken down whether accidentally or by the formation of the heterocyst uh, so in this way this separated uh, you know filament or the broken portion of the uh, uh, you know filament it gets separated it form its sheets and it's grow a large in size and separated and in this form it give rise to the uh, and when it is aggregated give rise to the new form of the colony or the new cells and the second is the uh, you know it's a colony formation so how the colony is formed it is there like one colony is present and what going to happen the one colony is broken down into the pieces like accidentally or some of the other physiological reasons you can say that because of the death or some other formation of the walls so uh, colonies can be broken down into two three more pieces and in this way each piece forms the new colony new filaments get aggregated in there and form the new colony so uh, in this way one colony give rise to the other colony and in the above hormogons we just study the one filament broken down and the piece give rise to the other form of the filament or the other organism uh, the third form of the reproduction or the method of the reproduction is the kinase they are also known as the resting spores and these are those ground in which the vegetative cells gets enlarged and just uh, separated from the filaments and it may be it's uh, you know present near the heterocyst and it is present near the heterocyst it helps in the unfavorable condition to you know for the protection or the for its uh, uh, survival but when the favorable condition comes and these akinate they get separated uh, from the uh, you know uh, from heterocyst and uh, from the pore it releases its own material and this material which is in the form of the filaments they get separated and uh, new spores and these new spores give rise to the new filaments so in this way akinate uh, you know uh, help in the reproduction and they may be present singly or the in chains along the side of the heterocyst this third form is the arthrospores arthrospores is that type of the spores in which you know akinates are the resting spores so uh, the resting spores give rise to the new spores or the new individuals and this is known as the arthrospores so this is little bit different from the echinates you know it's just point which is differentiate them resting spores of the echinates or the echinates resting spores they get separated give rise to the new individual so this is known as the arthrospores so the last point, uh, method of the reproduction in the uh, you know non stock is the non stock uh, uh, you know cyanobacteria is endospore formation endospore formation is that type of the reproduction in which the non stock commune and non stock microcystis uh, sorry microscopium these are the two species of the non stock which in which the heterocyst content divide itself into uh, you know many spores are produced from the heterocyst contents and these spores can uh, then uh, you know give rise to the new uh, new uh, new individual because these spores are get released from the heterocyst content divided into the small spores and then the new filaments are produced new cells of the nostoc are produced so in this way the reproduction of the cyanobacteria or the nostoc take place so i hope it will be helpful for you thank you so much for coming on my channel don't forget to like share subscribe and comment make sure to follow me on instagram bye bye allah hafiz